Hello YouTube, this is Rascalran521 here, bringing you my very first Lego Simpsons mock. And this is a mock of, it's probably hard to, a little hard to tell when it's zoomed in on the logo right there, but when I zoom out, you can see it's my mock of Moe's Tavern. And this mock, I think, actually looks really cool. Um, I built it a while ago, and I like it. Um, it's pretty small, not much detail, but I just thought it was a cool little thing, you know, it's kind of... With the new Simpsons minifigures coming out, I kind of felt a sudden urge to build a couple locations from the show, uh, which I did. So, yeah, let's get started right away. <coughs> so, as you can see, in the front, I didn't really pay much attention to the, you know, the <coughs> neatness of it. I just kind of sloppily drew Moe's on there. Uh, you know, so that's fine. It'll probably wash right off anyway if I ever want to redo it. And then I've got the, it's kind of hard, you have to look at a picture of Moe's Bar to kind of actually, you know, see the look, kind of, you know, kind of get the look I'm trying to achieve with this mock. There was like a little, uh, little um, slanted board design type of thing that they had, uh, kind of it looked like rafters or whatever, it was kind of like detail they had up in the front. And I just used um, two, or yeah, two by one uh, purple tiles I got from the pickup brick wall, I had a bunch of them, so I decided to use them, and I used those for that. <laughs> and we've got the stained glass down here. Oops. We've got the bar style stained glass. Now <laughs> we've got some stairs leading up to the front red door, which does open, by the way. It opens farther, but I'll show you later. I'll show you the inside in just a minute. And you know how much detail on the inside? You know, I've just got a dark gray border around, and on this side, we've got. Ladder, a ladder like retract. It's supposed to make it look like a retractable ladder, but it's just kind of well, one piece. <laughs> the little chimney stack and the little vent. Uh, down here, we've got a little trash can. Um, kind of sits out of slant because I put it on this piece. And then a little drainage pipe with you know um, some water um, trickling out. And then this side, I just have a spider web or a cobweb. To, you know, show it's not a very clean bar, kind of filthy. And here are the base plates I built it on. Pretty simple. In case you don't know my mock building process, um, I basically take bigger base plates, I kind of put them all next to each other, and then I take one by ones and make a border around to kind of connect them all, and then I seal up the spots where there's a gap in between the two base plates. And you know, there we go. That's how I. That's where I build my stuff on. Um, if I ever get to like a thousand subscribers or I ever hit a certain number or something ever really cool happens I've been thinking about for a big video showing you guys how I make mocks like maybe just doing like a live recording for You know, maybe a half hour straight or something of me just you know building just kind of a you know Designing a new mock or something um, so stay tuned for that in the near future And the interior of the bar there's not really much but I'll show you what we got anyway we got Homer Right here, at the front, at the old front counter, holding a can of Duff beer, and then we got Mo, kind of listening in on his problems. And Mo is one of my two custom Simpsons minifigures I built. Other one being the comic book guy. You'll see him later on. And Mo is pretty basic. Um, a lot of parts used from the minifigure series, because I was lazy. I didn't want to use anything else. And then I uh. Um, and then I replaced, I kind of drew blue, or drew brown over the blue paint stains on the painter's, uh, little, uh, smock right there. And I kind of made it so, like, you know, they're beer stains or something. Because, you know, he obviously does work at a bar. And then just some blue pants, and I think that's the Roman Emperor's head. So that's cool. Now on the inside, as you can see, like I said, there's the door. Very lazy build, you know, but you know, what else am I going to do? Works fine. It's kind of, as you can see, kind of tilts up and down. It's only held in by this piece right here. We've got a dartboard over here. Um, the front counter is just a little wraparound bar counter. We've got a little nozzle for the Duff beer. And then the difference, I kind of, to distinguish the cans of Duff from the bottles, the bottles are the the cone pieces with the, with the clear stud on top. And the cans are the regular uh, cyl cylinder pieces with the light gray stud on top. So that's what I did right there. And I've got some more bottles and a couple cans and whatnot, you know, lined on the taller areas of the counter. 
and there was a big mirror behind the bar as there is with most bars so I use these translucent pieces to achieve that effect room for Mo to stand back there and then over here couldn't think of really much else to add so I added a you know, flag as many sports bars have um, these pieces by the way up here this is just to cover up the because the sign on the outside has to be held in with these Technic pieces so I just took a couple bricks to cover that up and then on the bottom here the other side like I said I couldn't think of much else to add <laughs> so I added a little pool table and um, I think this turned out really cool just a little mini build got you know our cue ball and our eight ball and then a couple of other ones um, got our blue pool chalk We've got a couple of got a couple of pool cues right here on a little rack and yeah so that's about it for this mock uh, disappointing news like I said, I built this back when the Simpsons minifigures came out. I guess when they came out, I was just kind of in a Simpsons craze. You know, I built a bunch of mocks. I built about six of them. Uh, six or seven, let's see. I built Moe's Bar um, that you just saw. I built... Um, let's see, there's Moe's Bar. <coughs> um, the Quickie Mart. The comic book shop with my second custom Simpsons minifigure, the comic book guy. Um, I have the power plant. A small little version of the tire fire, and then Springfield Elementary. So yeah, six. So I think that's all I have. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting one. I could be wrong though. Uh, but I was like I said, I was built them when I was in a Simpsons craze. But I'm kind of thinking about destroying them. Um, I probably will end up destroying all of them. Maybe not most bar, just because this was the very first one I built. And I put the most detail into this one. Like even like this little purple, old border around the door just really makes it look kind of like a sim something out right out of the Simpsons. I really like that. So I probably won't destroy this one, but some of the really terrible ones like uh, Springfield Elementary turned out pretty crappy. And uh, the comic book shop isn't great. Um, the Quickie Mart has one cool thing in it, but other than that, it's not a very great mock. Um, I'd say the only really two good mocks on this, um, the only really two good Simpsons mocks I think I did are this and then the power plant. Um, the tire fire looks pretty cool too, but that's because that one is a small one and not much, you know, to really detail put into it, you know, so it's pretty easy to make it, you know, nice and, uh, small and put a couple of extra details in there, but, uh, yeah, stay tuned for those. Once I get all, all the videos of them uploaded, I'll probably, like, take, I'll probably take them all and put them on a couple base plates and just, like, you know, put, I'll put, like, a uh, you know, I'll just kind of spread them all out, make my own little town scene and call it my Springfield mock or something, or... You know, whatever. I'll do that sometime soon. But, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and see you later, guys. Bye.